Here I just wanted to quickly show the user interface. Um, so it's a, just a standard web page um, in the browser here. Um, in the upper left hand side you'll see the Arduino ready bit when the Arduino is ready to receive a new command. In the lower left um, is the send command so that I'll press that button send to tell the IO bridge to send um, the command over to the uh, Arduino and then the other four buttons the tar that are prefaced with target select the program so I can pick the diagnostics program left to right or the mis most difficult shooting program which is the target delay fast 10 program. So at this point I want to uh, kind of cover the big components that I've used in the project uh, as well as show a little bit of how it's wired up. So um, just as far as the f first off is what the components are in the project. On the left hand side you'll see I've got three uh, servo motors, standard hobby servo, servo motors. I'm also um, using a breadboard in the upper right with a speaker. Um, I'm using the Arduino uh, which is getting a lot of coverage on the net. If you've seen one of those before, um, here's what the Arduino looks like. I'm also using the IO uh, bridge module that I've used in, in another one of my projects. This is handling all the web the web work. Um, now I really wanted to get for this project the uh, IO bridge module and the Arduino to talk and I'll cover that a little bit in, in how I get that done. Um, so here in channel one uh, in the IO bridge module I've got plugged in the servo smart board which has a plus a minus and a signal uh, pinout. Here I'm just using these to drive as the current source to drive the servos. Uh, the Arduino itself is actually issuing the PWM or pulse width modulation inputs to the servos to tell them which way to face. So the Arduino really has all the logic to execute. Um, now I want to call your attention to really the three major lines that make uh, the IO bridge and the Arduino uh, talk together. First of all, the Arduino has an output pin uh, into the I.O. bridge um, on channel 3 here in this particular instance telling the I.O. bridge it's ready to receive commands. So it will send pin high to uh, the I.O. bridge module telling it to uh, that it's ready to receive commands and I'll see that update on my web page. The other is uh, an output pin from the I.O. 204 telling the Arduino that there is a command waiting for it. Now this is kind of where the special, the special part of the communication actually uh, comes into play. What I'm doing is I'm using this fourth channel here that's not um, plugged in anything. I'm using the fourth channel and I've got it wired into the Arduino and it is encoding a command uh, via pulse width modulation into the Arduino. So when that command incoming pin goes high, the Arduino looks at that input pin coming from the PWM and says, oh, what's that value? And then it executes a function lookup. So for example, um, I'll show you the, the left to right target program. Uh, I'll walk you through the sequence of events. So the IO bridge is displaying uh, the value from the Arduino if it's ready to receive a command. It's ready to receive a command. I hit the button saying, um, I'm going to send you program two. At that point, um, the IO bridge module starts communicating PWM value of 500 in this particular instance to the Arduino and then I say send command. The IO bridge module sends pin high on the Arduino um, on the command waiting um, uh, line. The Arduino at that point sees that pin go high, looks at the PWM input and says, oh, 500, and it looks that up in a function lookup here in the Arduino and says, oh, 500 for PWM is execute program two. So first thing it does is issue a speaker sound, so you'll hear it beep twice, indicating that it's running program two, and then it's shows to the left, shows the center, shows the right. And all of that those commands are coming from the Arduino. The Arduino is sending the PWM inputs to the servos. And at that point, finally, whenever it's done executing that particular uh, channel, the Arduino will tell the IO bridge that it's done and says, I'm ready to receive a new command.